What's up everyone? A really cool combo has been brought to my attention recently and it's uh, a generation of infinite amount of gold which I think is very fun. Not a lot of point to it <laughs> but uh, I thought it was kind of fun to pull off so uh, I'm going to be demonstrating that in this video. What you'll be needing is a level 3 taper with uh, mushroom. You can see that I have already gotten two level 2 tapers with the mushroom on ready to be combined next turn. You also be needing an oyster with donut. The level of the oyster doesn't really matter, but the higher the level the better. If you need to sell it for a uh, emergency fund in order to extend the combo, that's uh, you know, you can do that if it's higher level. And the last thing you need you'll be needing is a uh, Pteranodon, which uh, the higher the level the better of course, but uh, even at level 1 you can make use of it. And uh, yeah, you'll see what the combo entails on this turn. I don't get it straight away, but uh, as long as the engine starts running, I don't think it's easy to be stopped. You'll see I'll be freezing this alpaca here just in case I get more, more oysters to get uh, more money. Because uh, <laughs> I'll be needing to spend a lot of money on this turn, a lot of gold. And you can see I'm getting the oyster here, I might just give it a donut, yeah. And now I level up the tapers as well, I believe. Because I need the level 3 tapir. And what I get from this level up might, might uh, end up being useful. It didn't, it's a chicken. But if it was a pteranodon or an oyster, I think it would have been very useful. So yeah, the combo is mostly set up now and you'll see it in action right here. You peel the tapir, you get a level 3 oyster that you can sell for 12 gold. And this is basically infinitely repeatable as long as you can get uh, as long as you can get a mushroom in the shop as well as the uh, pill that you can use on the tapir. So yeah, this turn will be going on for a while. I'll walk you through the process a, a few more times until I get the setup going. Of course, let's see if I find the pteranodon soon. I do find the mushroom very lucky. And uh, the Pteranodon should be coming in these next few rolls. I find the Noyster which is also good. Selling it, buying it and getting the Pteranodon as a result of the level up. And now all that I need is, uh, is the pill to be able to pop off. I do find another mushroom but I don't think it's very wise to freeze it now. I'd rather find the pill first then I can be thinking about freezing other mushrooms. And here it is, the pill. So this is the, the final version of this combo. Uh, I shouldn't be buying this alpaca, I think I'll be reconsidering very soon. First getting the pteranodon right here, after selling the alpaca. Or before, it doesn't really matter. Since the alpaca has already used its triggers. But yeah, I'm selling the alpaca here and using the pill on the tape here which I'm not sure why I'm so hesitant about doing. But yeah, you can see this uh, at, in full swing here. We we'll get 24 gold for our troubles and uh, in order to extend the combo to repeat it one more time, you need to find another pill, another mushroom and hopefully another pteranodon that you can um, use. Uh, I don't think I made the optimal place in the beginning. I was... Uh, I was uh, buying and selling pteranodons, but I think it's more correct to be combining them. It's uh, a little bit more gold efficient. Although I think it's not a huge misplay even if you do end up uh, buying and selling the pteranodon. You can see I'm kind of holding off. I could uh, repeat the combo for 12 mo more gold, but I choose to find the pteranodon first so I can get the full 24 gold. And uh, this turn is going to be going on for a while, so I'll leave you with the footage. Uh, if uh, anyone is interested in counting how much gold I'll be spending this turn, they're more than welcome to try, I'm too lazy to do that. And uh, some last things that I want to say. Uh, is the shop scaling really necessary that I have made? I've made the full shop 50-50. Which I don't think it's at all necessary, you can pull this combo off even with uh, base shop stats. But I thought like uh, why not do it? Some people have been uh, grinding for a 4 of a kind slot, 5 of a kind slot. 
uh, using a 50-50 shop and this infinite gold setup but other than that I don't think this uh, uh, this infinite gold trick has any other uses so I don't think it really deserves a nerf it's very fun to pull off so yeah I'm just going to leave you with the footage and uh, I hope you enjoy I'll speed it up as well so because it takes so long but yeah uh, like sub do all the generic stuff and I hope you enjoy and uh, I'll talk to you next time take care